Hey everyone and welcome back to Haste Kitchen. Now today I want to show all you busy people out there how to do a one tray medley. It's the simplest thing to do. There's so many different variations you can use. You choose your meat, you choose your vegetable, you choose your carbohydrate, and you then choose your sauce. That is pretty much it. You can do it all in one tray. So I'm gonna do pork chops, butternut squash, with some roasted apples, green beans, tomatoes. I'm gonna to use some little bit of white wine and butter and stock, just to do a pan reduction, basically. First up, you're gonna need a pan. That's all I'm gonna use. So into there, we've got our pork chops. One, two, three, four. Now try and get some pork chops with a little bit of fat element on there. Don't be scared of this fat layer. That's just gonna render down and start creating that lovely sort of crispy sort of bottom to the pan, which is essentially is gonna make our sauce. Wash your hands. Now we're gonna lightly season them. So salt and pepper, just over the top. Into that, I'm going to go in with three or four apples. Just going to chop them down, decor the centre, and leave them in lovely sections like that. Scatter them around the plate. Now, everyone knows pork and apple goes together perfectly, so that apple is going to render down as well and add that beautiful sweetness that you're going to get to the sauce afterwards. Finally, your last apple. So we've got our apple element that's going to create that beautiful sweetness to the pork. We've got the fat element off the pork as well. And we're going to go in with a bit of butternut squash. Now, be very careful with these. Cut down, straight down to the root. I just scoop out the seeds on both sides. And any of those sort of like over soft areas. See, we've got those. And then, we're just going to chop these down finely into sort of thin sections. So you've got that beautiful sort of like boat area, it's going to catch all that flavour. And you're just going to plonk them around, skin side up, please. And just plonk them around the tray. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So you've got two bits of butternut squash there for each version, one pork chop, and then a couple of bits of apple each. Now, with the green beans and your tomatoes, you're actually going to do that afterwards because they're going to take a lot quicker time to cook. So we're just going to drizzle over the top, a little bit of olive oil. We've got our seasoning on there already. So we're going to get that into the oven for about 25 minutes, about 220 Celsius. So after about 20, 25 minutes, you're going to get this sort of colorization here. So really, with all that sauce, you've got the fat element that's rendered down. So we're going to pour some of that into a pan. The reason I do that is the rest of it will start to crisp up and go a lovely brown color. We can then add that stock back to the empty pan afterwards to make our sauce. We've got all that lovely apple sort of scented stock. Back into the oven just to crisp that off, okay? Now at this point, add our green beans. Just gonna take the ends off those, just the final little tips. Scatter them amongst the pan. And then I'm gonna drizzle over just a little bit of honey or a little bit of algarve nectar, whichever you have, just over the top. Just a little drizzle. That's gonna give us that beautiful caramelization sort of element to it. And who doesn't like that on a pork chop? Right, back into the oven. I'm gonna see it about another 10, 15 minutes. Now at this point, you wanna add your cherry tomatoes. And you can just scatter these in whole bunches around. And back into the oven. Of our butternut squash. I'm going to go on with our beautiful pork chops. So you see there, that's what you're looking for, that beautiful colouring you've got on the top. A few of our cherry tomatoes, just lay them over the centre. A few of our green beans. A little bit of apple. Another bit of apple. And onto that, we're just going to spoon a little bit of our beautiful sauce just over the top. You've got those little bits of apple, apple in there, you've got those little bits of white wine. So there we go, it's my easy one tray medley, using two trays, because I needed to make the sauce. Didn't think that one through, did I? Um, but there we go, it's my pork, um, apple sauce, green beans, butternut squash, roasted cherry tomatoes. Simple, simple cooking. If you do recreate this one, which I hope you do, hashtag Metal Kitchen, and I'll see you next week. Cheers then, bye-bye.